it's Villa v United today. Went to last year's game, lost 1 0, so hopefully we can get the three points at Old Trafford as well. So they're not in good form, so hopefully we can get the win and we maintain the push for the title, top three at least, anyway. Uh, Villa's form ain't been the best at Old Trafford. 1 0 Courtney Wars, if I remember. 1 0 win late on. Then we lost 1 0 away last season. I went down and hopefully. This year we can get that win. United win off form. Fans are saying Tenog out. So hopefully we get that win. And maintain the top three push and even the title charge. You know, we're not expected to be fighting for the title or the top three. But we're here now, so we might as well make it a fight and go for that title. They ain't even scored in the last four games. Not even a single goal, six hours or something. So we should go for the win, man. Should attack them. I don't want to see Emery sitting back. It's Old Trafford. Bournemouth even got a 3 0 win away. If we attack them, we should have a field day out there. You know, Ramsey needs to step up. Diaby needs to step up. Diaby's been off with 51 million pounds. He started off alright, but he's ghosting matches. He needs to do more. And McGinn, I want to see him play the game of his life because we could easily get a 4 0 here. United, they're doing nothing. Rashford, don't see him up for it. Garnacho, he gets the chances, bottles it every time. So, Hoyland then even scored the Premier League goal in 14 games. That says it all. Yes lads, so news just in. Paul Torres has put on his story that it's match day. So this could mean that he's in the squad or he's playing. So fingers crossed he's in the squad because long lay last game, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but he needs to get gone in Jan. AC Milan want him. I think he should just move there because he's got no place in this filler side. The team that we need to be preparing for every single game is not within the quality. So Paul Torres in, hopefully. And fingers crossed that could lead to a good result. Well, if we can't, we're walking up to the game. I think we might have to be a little quiet because <laughs> yeah, we're amongst the United fans. I'd pan around me, but I don't think there's any behind us. But yeah, they're all in front of us. What do you think of the lineup, Frikon? Well, the Donka and Longley. Looking like a long day, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully, they'll perform today. Oh, you got the donk and long legs on the pitch, That's so it. I don't know what's gonna happen there. Game, no. you, you already said that earlier, to be honest, but obviously, well, I think with the idea of Den Donk on the pitch, I think you saw that McGinn can be in a more advanced role because in a few earlier games. We needed him in an advanced role to put them crosses in. Exactly. So, yeah, hopefully it's the right move by Emery, but what do you think of the United squad? United, he's expected, he's brought in some of experienced players like Ericsson and uh, he started Rashford, so it depends which Rashford you go up against. Yeah. The one recently, we have Ricardini would have a field in. Yeah, but I think with Rashford on the pitch, you got to be careful of his pace because even when he's off form, his pace can be electrifying, so we need to be careful of that. Maybe a Moreno one in second half. I remember last season. Um, All right, you speak a bit louder, he kept, mate. He kept running in behind, and you know, we're gonna play at that high risk offside, mate. Yeah, high line. We're better at it now, but last season they had a couple of offside goals. Uh, we played the line well, but he was free all the time. Yeah. And no one was picking him up. Exactly, so. We'll check back when we're actually in the stadium because there's a lot of space, but we'll see you there, lads. So, obviously, I'm on the United squad is out. So, what do you think about the squad? Uh, obviously, first off, it's mine up play. So, uh, <coughs> interesting that, but um, that's for the whole team. Yeah. That's what the result, mate. I'll tell you straight, mate. That's why I'm allowed to be a villain, mate. You get me? What is it? Two hours in it from Birmingham, mate. Yeah. yeah. Once the win got high, man, it yeah. is. You two cry. That's the best bit. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. 100%, mate. That's, that's all I'm looking for, really. 
Give me, yeah. you have a good night for your Canadian. What? Get it done, bro. One nil, two nil. I take it. What do you think about after the West Ham result? What's the point? Well, what do you think about the squad? Do you reckon it's a good decision by Ten Hag to uh, play these players, or yeah. do you reckon it should have been yeah. something different? Well, it, it, it could be anyone, mate. That's not a result, mate. That's yeah, so, so you're in the derby game, especially in our household. Yeah. That's not a result, mate. It doesn't matter who starts, who does it. Whatever. Just get the win, mate. That's exactly. it. We've gone a bit dark here, so we've talked to you when we're inside the yeah, stadium. Yeah, mate, but any quick prediction, just in case you miss me again, I think it's going to be 3-1. Right? 3-1. I'm, I'm thinking... 2-0 Villa. 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 What's your prediction for? 2-1 uh, Villa. 2-1 Villa. So what was it? 2-0, 2-1. Yes. And 3-1 United. 3-1. We'll Not see. Subscribe. We'll see. Like and subscribe, lads. One more no! What happened to you on them, bro? Well, obviously, Villa switched off, in it? But, obviously, we're going... Look at that, mate. Look at that, mate. All the hype at the start of the day. And now they're crying, mate. I don't want to walk on the camera, mate. It's all upset going on here. So, yeah, Hoyland first goal. Go on, match, I got two. I predicted 3-1. End up 3-2. But United, uh, had a chat and going, mate. You're seeing United. Now, here, five, mate. See, you don't even know his own chance. That's how you know. Well, Mike, you won the game, Mike. Yeah, come on, you know what I mean?